this is my Honda CRV. When I bought it, it didn't have a manifold cover. So I got one from a salvage yard. And this is how it looks before and after renovating it. Um, that's how it looks. After cleaning it uh, so that I can uh, paint it, uh, it's drying up. So this is the painting process. I'm painting, I'm painting it uh, with silver color. Uh, that's applying the paint. This is a very simple DIY, which anyone can do uh, if they have time to do it. I'm using a spray paint, a can goes for three and a half dollars or Kenya shillings 350. So you can give it uh, two coats of paint. Do the first coat, wait for it to dry, and then apply a second coat. So this makes the manifold cover look as if it's a new one. That's how it looks after giving it a second coat of paint. That's Mr. David. So once it dries, uh, we shall go and fit it uh, to the engine. And this is first dry. I'm not at the engine and because it had been open for a long time we have to lubricate uh, the bolts and nuts to fasten the manifold cover so we have to put some bit of oil to loosen any dirt that may have gotten stuck and we can do this by also dipping the bolt in some oil and running it over the threads before uh, finally fastening the manifold cover. So this uh, is fastened by 12 millimeter nuts and bolts. And that is my bucket that contains uh, all sorts of bolts, nuts, washers, name it. So any D, serious DIY enthusiast will have a toolbox and a lot of these uh, bolts and nuts uh, so that whenever there's anything to fasten and there's a missing bolt or nut, uh, you don't have to go to the spares shop to get it. So you have to remove uh, the dipstick, the oil dipstick, in order to fit the manifold cover on the engine this is a honda crv rd1 1999 model b20b engine and that is the manifold cover i bought without it and i decided to get one uh, you see when you're restoring uh, a car uh, some of these things you have to do it yourself and I don't know the reason why mechanics will remove uh, these things from a car and not fit them back. And where do those things end up anyway? So whenever anything is missing in a car that I have or that I use that I own, I'll always make sure I want to return it to the original uh, state. And this car had, has had a lot of things missing and actually it gives you one uh, joy to restore some of these things. Yeah. Fastening the manifold uh, heat cover.
just apply enough force again some mechanics will really put a lot of uh, torque when fastening the bolts and this weakens the thread this whole uh, work uh, took me about uh, 45 minutes to one hour and it's something very simple very basic i got the manifold cover at ten dollars or one thousand shillings after fastening it i have to return the oil dipstick and also wipe any dirt that may have uh, gotten onto it yeah so that's it uh, wipe the grease around the nuts when you are fastening it and the engine goes back to its original state it looks an original engine uh, quite clean complete my next uh, task is to restore or revamp the manifold cover uh, which I will share with you when I'm doing it I've already scrapped off the black paint which comes with it it peels off over time and it looks really bad that's Honda Motor Company uh, subscribe uh, to watch more videos like this and thank you so much for watching this episode keep watching